Welcome to Learning React with me. In this video, we are going to see another example on React state. I have created demo state 2.js file. I have added a state which has count 0 initially. Inside render method, I am displaying the state and printed count value using this dot state dot count. There are two buttons. One to increment the value of count by 1. For example, when the count is 0, the result would be 1. And the other one to increment by 1 and decrement by 2. For example, when the count is 0, it would increment by 1, which is 1, and then decrement by 2, which is minus 1. And this is how the screen looks like. I haven't added any code to these buttons yet. Let's do it now. The on click attribute, we just assign the reference of this method. If we put it like this, once the component is rendered, this method starts executing and we don't want that. And that's the reason we just assign the reference of this method. So inside this method, when the button is clicked, it will go to this method and inside this, we want to update the state. So I'll say this dot set state and update count property with the previous uh, state count value incremented by one. Let's save it and move to the browser. So when I click on increment 1, I'll see an error. And this is because we do not have access to this keyword inside this method. So in order to have access to this keyword inside any method, we need to bind it using bind function. So doing it this way, we will have access to the this keyword inside this method. Now when I click on increment 1, it updated the state. Let's do the same thing for the other method as well. Generally, we can do this inside a constructor. So I'll move it here inside the constructor. I'll assign this with the binding now we don't have to bind it every time we call the function let's move to the browser there is a typo here. It's not B I M D, it's B I N T. It's updating correctly. Now let's add code to the second button. So, first I have to increment it by 1. Let me copy this and paste it here. Once it is incremented by 1, we have to decrement by 2. Let's paste it again and make it minus 2. Let's move to the browser. The initial count value is 0. So when I increment 1 and decrement 2, as we've seen earlier, it should be minus 1. Okay, now it is displaying as minus 2. Let's see why. We are calling two set state methods which access the current state count value. So what happens is, for performance, React batches all these set, set state calls and only the last set state call will be updating the state. So here, this dot state dot count value will be 0 and 0 minus 2 will give minus 2, which we see in the browser. In order to avoid this, to have access to the updated state values, we can do something like this. In React, 
set state method we can call an arrow function which has a previous state as first argument this is a user defined name you can name it any way you want and here i'm naming it as previous state brief state and then we have to return a value now instead of this dot state we'll make use of previous state and the count property inside it i'll do the same thing in decrement operation as well so now here current value of state will be 0 for example once it is incremented by 1 it becomes 1 and when it comes to this line it will take 1 as the current value and then decrements by minus 2 and the result would be minus 1 let's save it and go to the browser increment is working as expected let me refresh the count is 0 so now when I click on this increment 1 decrement 2 result should be minus 1 and we see the expected value so whenever you want to use the previous state and process it and assign it back to the current state it's better to use brief state or the previous state property available in set state thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to interview probe